I was raised to believe that Planned Parenthood was a, a kind of harbinger of civilization, a, a, a community of people that, that, that wanted to make sure that one um, quote unquote sexual mistake would not cost a woman a lifetime. And, and that, was, that was how I was, how I was raised. And so um, I, it, it, it made sense to me. Um, I was, was raised to, to believe that pregnancy is a medical issue and that the medical community must help a woman in an unwanted pregnancy to terminate that pregnancy. And we used words like that. We used terminate, not abort or kill. Um, and so uh, those ideals were also connected, at least in my family and for me, with being environmentally sound. Um, I was raised to believe that the world is overpopulated, that uh, we are eating ourselves out of a planet, um, and that we certainly don't need more children who are un unloved and uncared for. And I think what the, what the pro-choice pro mindset or someone who basically comes from a worldview that I did needs is the gospel and an understanding that God gives life and that God never makes mistakes and that adoption is a central paradigm of, of, of both Christian life but also Christian um, theology. In addition to that, I think that what, what, we, what we need to take more seriously is the need to be um, have a clear reflection of adoption in our lives and in our churches, and and I I think that if we're going to have the integrity of 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 the witness that says don't abort your child, we also need to have the integrity of the witness that says you are not alone, and your child is not alone. Whether that means that we are um, are doing a kind of family ministry or whether that means that we are making adoption a choice that doesn't seem like itself a rebuke to a person. It doesn't matter. We need to have more than words. We need to be the hands and the feet of God in the lives of desperate women.